30% of people say they call in sick because they just don't feel like going to work. And that's according to the latest survey from Career Builder. So we wanted to know what are some other popular ways people call in sick. Nine on your side anchor Julie Dolan got some answers. 19% of people said that they called in sick because they just wanted to catch up on sleep, while 11% of people say that they wanted to avoid the weather. We teamed up with our digital team here on WCPO.com and found a few business owners who changed the way they operate because of it. How are you? Great. Opening day at Great American Ballpark. It's no day at the office. But for Mike Schuster at MSA Architects, it is. It's the one day a year he plays hooky. At first it was just me, and I didn't actually at first what, what happened was it was just me. So what I would do is I would just leave the office and hope nobody called. And but they caught on, and for the past 30 years, the whole office has taken the day off to watch the Reds play ball. It's one way Schuster says he can avoid hearing the fake excuses, and he's heard them all. The longer they are, the more they're, they're not actually uh, true. It's hard to tell when people are playing hooky because right now a lot of people work from, work from home. As WCPO's digital business reporter Dan Monk found, some excuses are laughable. I had a casserole in the oven. Uh, I accidentally boarded a plane. But the bottom line can hurt. It costs a company more than three grand a day for an unplanned absence. I expected more people to be calling in sick actually this year than have been in the past. That number is down from 33% to about 29%. And you can find more stats like that and that top 10 laughable list of excuses right here at WCPO.com. For Nine on Your Side, I'm Julie Dolan.